There's an old saying, those who can, do. Those who can't, talk about it. John Rahm is the exceptional exception. I'm a golf junkie. I'm the guy who, you know, if the kids don't wake me up, I'm up at 5.36 in the morning looking at reruns of tournaments on YouTube and videos and, and things that players have done just because I like it. I just, I love the game and I love learning about it. This week he arrives here fully aware of the context and the history he is aching to be a part of. I'm obviously very aware that it's the 40th anniversary since Sammy's second win out here. So it's, it's something that's important to me. America has produced the most Masters champions, but Spain and South Africa are next. A win this week breaks the tie. The golf junkie knows all the facts. When Ollie won a 99, Sergio was, it was his first start in the Masters. He was an amateur. And when Sergio won, he was my first Masters as well. So I'm hoping that history kind of repeats itself and uh, I get to win someday. He wouldn't be a bad bet. In six previous starts here, he's got four top tens and never missed the cut. This year, he is on a tear on tour with three wins already. Combined with the success of Scotty Scheffler and Rory McIlroy, it has many hearkening back to another age and another big three. I think for us to be compared to something like that, we have a very long way to go. It could be the start, but still a long way. The three players have traded the world's top ranking back and forth. This week, for various reasons, they've all been a prominent part of the primary narrative. Scheffler, the defending champion. McElroy, painfully close before and in pursuit of a career Grand Slam. And Rahm, whose record this year is perhaps better than anyone else's. All of it facts a golf junkie knows well.